Welcome back to Best Albums Ever with Kid Cal 69 a very popular series over on YouTube. It's been seven years since my last episode. Now, why would it possibly be seven years to make an episode of Best Albums Ever? Well, I was out running a record store collecting all the best albums ever. I first saw the Beatles 1967-1970 in my brother Ron's bedroom many many years ago. I will not show you that copy yet because that copy I have collectors from all over the world trying to get their hands on. So what is so great about this album? Well, everything. My favorite song, hard to say, is Back in the USSR. Oh no, Aria's behind the camera. I hope she doesn't knock us down. Oh, here she goes. No, Aria. Okay. Stop. Okay, let's try this again. Best albums ever with Kid Cal 69 and friends. But the friends, they just left. And it was a nice visit. I enjoy this kind of donation. We take donations in exchange for LPs, merchandise for our cause, which is Stop Heroin, Burlington, Wisconsin. Serious problem worldwide now. Okay, back to the fun. Okay, the Beatles, 1967 to 1970. Now, many of you are probably going, why would anyone possibly have so many copies of the same LP? Well, it's all about the numbers, it's all about the labels. If you're a collector, you know that. And when you, you see this, you're gonna wish you were me. So, this is Capital. These albums I do not put on the turntable, thus why we are listening to the Amazon Alexa today. Now, if you're new at record collecting, right up here in the little corner, you will find the record number. Beautiful Apple label. Now, did you know Apple sued Apple for the name of their computer? The reason I'm not talking much about these records is they're golden. And we're waiting for the big surprise damaged cover. So, that is a drag. But you can notice that one has mold on it. Must be cleaned. Oh, oh, oh. I must be cleaned. I usually carry, if you are a record collector, you usually carry disinfectant wipes with you. Well, they're here somewhere. But really, after you touch mold, it is a really good thing to clean your hands. Okay, this is what every collector from here to China to Australia to states like Iowa have come to Rocket Fun Music. Yes, we have our own merch line. For. And I will not sell it ever, ever, ever. If any of you have this, let me know. And if you don't, you're not getting mine. Blue Vinyl Capital. It's beautiful. So why is this one of the best albums ever? Besides, I used to listen to it over and over and over and over and over again. And I know usually every word, well, Strawberry Fields Forever. Penny Lane, Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band, Lucy in the Sky with Diamonds, A Day in the Life, All You Need Is Love. Yes, I put my love sucks on. So pretty soon, you'll be blacked out to go to the turntable area to listen briefly. Oh, I don't even want to put any of these on the 
record player. Oh, I'm going to have to... Oh, okay. You can see I kind of covered my records. Anything in this scene, if you contact me at Rocking Fun Music 1969, I can give you or order for you for a donation to our causes. We have the Beatles pillowcases. We have the Beatles silhouette shirts. We have the Beatles necklaces. So these $15 donation, $15 donation, shirts $25 don donation. No, not for sale. Time to get blacked out. Why is she blacking us out, they say? There we go. Because the location of these is top secret. Oh no. Now when you put your album on, you should probably be more careful than me. But the important thing is use your lever. Ooh, that sound. That rock and roll sound. That static. Blackout. Okay, so stay tuned next time where we'll be bringing on a couple new guests. Go to rockingfunmusic.com, listen to my radio show with the best DJ ever, DJ Fly, at fly-radio.com. Peace out, and have a rocket fun weekend.